Today's adventure begins at the Renaissance Hotel, Schaumburg, Illinois, for the Pinball Expo. Welcome to today's video as a recording of this Saturday, October 19th, 2024, at the Pinball Expo. We got people honking at us, monorail vibes behind me. We're gonna walk around this way. The convention center is in front of me, kind of do a loop and get inside. We got about three minutes till it opens, so we're here right on time today. Second day straight in Chicago. Actually opened two minutes ago. Hours of operation today, 10 a.m to 2 a.m. What a late night or early morning. I'm not gonna stay that long, but today is the final day. Last year we were here was the final day also, so kind of kind of a continuation the last two years at, at the expo. We have the big hotel right over here and they have a kind of a little pond area parked back. Okay, we'll head in. Win a new pinball machine, visit the Jersey Jack pinball booth, and enter now with the Godfather, Toy Story 4, Guns N' Roses. Gonna head down the end of the aisle and uh, purchase our ticket and check out the Pinball Expo 2024. This way to Pinball Expo, I'm going the right way. Also the Avatar, hearing good things about the Avatar, the battle for Pandora. 40 years of pinball, look at Wolverine over here, and the Sentinel. Jaws pinball, John Wick pinball, Godzilla, and something I'm really looking forward to seeing, oh yeah, X-Men, Wolverine, the Sentinels. All right, I'm waiting in line. It's a badge this year. I think that was a wristband a year ago. I don't, I don't remember it being a badge, but yeah, gonna get, uh, gonna get the badge and just, uh, just wait in this line. All right, we got our badge. Entering the expo. Got some Elvira. It's like Godzilla. It must be. Uh, I think that's Metallica. Is this pinball toppers? Yeah, hologram topper. Get, get up here. Older uh, Metallica. I think there might be a new Metallica pinball from what I'm hearing, so kind of out of the loop. We'll, we'll track it down, see what's here. We'll see how long the lines are for some of the uh, the stern over here. I always got to stop and check out the Garbage Pail Kids. Just brings me back to 86, 87. Started getting these, then my dad found out what they really were, and yeah, that was pretty much uh, the halt of collecting the Garbage Pail Kids. Pretty nice selection here. And there's X-Men right there. Some of the John Wick. Actually there's some, might be some open on the other side, but I mean, the line here, it's all about getting into, to play X-Men. I mean, look at this, it just opened probably, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes ago. Already just lined up. I'm gonna check that out before we leave. Just gotta get a little, a little closer to dice down a little bit. Here's the, the John Wick, all the stern, Jaws, John Wick, X-Men, 40 years of pinball. Earlier this year at the Midwest Gaming Classic, like Jaws was very hard to get on the lines and now going to arcades, able to, to jump on Jaws. It's interesting though, know, when, when stuff comes out originally, so long, like you're seeing with X-Men over there, and then John Wick, Jaws, a little bit easier to uh, to check these out. The Godzilla, another, I like how they have different skins for the Jaws. Okay, there's some more X-Men over here, so a ton of X-Men pinball. Last year, Venom was out, so at the Cleveland Gaming Classic, a lot of excitement for Venom. Now a lot of excitement for X-Men. Now you can just walk right up to, uh, to Venom. They do have some full-size arcade machines for sale. They have NFL Blitz 2000. I remember seeing some of these on sale last year. An arcade Legends Multi-Cade. San Francisco Rush, got a Neo Geo, another Ultimate Arcade. Look at all the 
all the multi keys there. Kind of why the, the scheme here of why I got actually golden T, why I went with that but see here is they have all the buttons. So I guess they could have just moved over the joystick a little bit, giving you a yeah, you could still play the trackball. So yeah, a little little different on that player two on the arcade one up. It's like basically right here, your hand pressing the buttons is like right here. At least you have well, maybe they could uh, fix that going forward. Well, the Princess Bride. Okay, I thought I was gonna jump on here. I just wanted to get a shot. It's interesting. Again, like the lines. I want to think April just completely backed up, and now you can just walk right up and, and check them out. Mario's Barbecue Challenge. I've seen this at an arcade. I know it's kind of a. I may be wrong, but a, a newer pinball. Pretty cool to see there are a couple of them. They have three of them over here, and then a, a girl up here with, I believe, a pig inside of it. it kind of looks like uh, Al from uh, Home Improvement. Experience the Pac Man Cave. Level up on your rec room with the classics. And then X Men Pro Edition. Yeah, they might actually have X Men at their showroom so kind of keep that in mind if you missed out on the pinball expo and you're you're near apple electronics probably check out x-men over there and the x-men premium edition the magneto master of magnetism john wick and then uh, the premium and then the pro edition just talking to the representatives from app they don't have x-men yet but they're thinking monday which is two days from now as a recording of this, they'll have it in their room, their showroom. So maybe a you know, week, two weeks from now to be safe, you should uh, experience X-Men right at App Electronics. The Silver Strike. Hell yeah. But uh, their version yeah, of this, it, it's a uh, Polarama. It, it, it uh, doubles as a jukebox. So you okay. do Bluetooth, USB. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit of a delay though. I, I noticed that when I, when I did it, like just, just for, just for a second, like yeah. when you when you push it off, yeah, it's it's a little different than I'm used to the golden T, yeah, like you know, one, arcade one up, like right. instant when you when you hit that track. But yeah, there's just a little hesitation. It's weird. Be in line for right now. We got James hates Alice everything right here. Wonder Adventures Thank you, Dave. Wonderland. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. Through the line, I just I just yeah. kind of did a pass. It's amazing how ten minutes, how many people just came in here. X Men is like a mile long. Princess Bride now. A lot of people in line for it. Like yep. I walked right up to it a couple of minutes ago. This one will get huge too because this is like the brand. This is the newest. Go cool. check out James and Biggie D playing Alice in Wonderland. It is good looking table. Very different than like all the other ones. Play. It's got the plastic wrap. Point out like that the topper up there. It's very smooth. Can't get up that ramp. Is this your first time? Gamer Fridge checking out the Looney Tunes. What do you think of it? So far, I'm liking it. You know, some people don't like it, but so far, I'm liking it. I like, I like Looney Tunes. Yeah, I do too. Everything for the at games table and they're running a sale and it ends I believe tomorrow so there's about 24 hours remaining on some of the discounts and 
you can see some of the, the hot deals online and on site. Now, the display units over here, I believe you could purchase, and from what I'm hearing, I'll have to, I'll have to get confirmation, they have sold out. I don't really know how that works. So let's say you bought a pass you know, a couple of days ago, you, you purchased the Adams Family. How do you pick this up? And it's completely assembled. Like it's not, it's not you're getting a box, you're getting this, this pinball. You know, you're gonna have to put it in your car, completely assembled. And I don't know if you have to pay admission to come back in, but everything, you got the Star Trek, the Snoopy, Attack from Mars, Jurassic Park. And I'm here, I think everything here is what they have except for Dinosaur Dynasty. So yeah, here's Jurassic Park. First time coming up, we saw Adam's Family last year. And I like how they put the art right here, so you're not seeing just like the, the Legends, the Legends. 4K piece, so it's nice having that theming. A lot of green. You got, they don't press in. You can put the quarters in, though. They, I should have brought some change with me. We'll come back out. I like the way it looks with a special promo. I didn't think they were selling Jurassic Park here. And I was just under the impression, I really didn't know how it worked that you, you were gonna be able to buy boxes. So, no, they're not, they're not taking these with them. These might already be uh, purchased. Everyone's loving peanuts right now. What are they missing? Star Trek's not here. Oh man, we missed out on Star Trek. Stock Talk just called it. Now, out of the toppers that are here, I do like Adam's Family the best. A little bit of, I don't know if it's the gray, it just looks like it's washed out on, on Jurassic Park. This one really stands out. I always said that the I didn't like it. The live auction is happening now in the back of the exploration hall. I said I didn't really care for Cousin It on the top, I guess. It doesn't really bother me. It's not a bad looking table. All you see is burned. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I'm with Stock Chalk. I, I liked it originally. I don't like this green. It's, it's, it's too much. If they had this, if they had this theming right here, or on the other side, in the front, or if it was just all black, yeah. it'd, be, it'd be a little bit, uh, I mean, the back glass looks cool. The marquee, does it look, or the topper, does it look a little washed out on the top? Yeah, look at Adam, Adam's Family's the best looking topper here. Here's what I like, is the back glass, it's so much darker. Like you, the topper kind of kind of seals the show here. We go to Jurassic Park, same kind of thing. Like it, it's so dark. What I don't like about peanuts is that yeah, I mean the yellow looks good, but it's gonna stand out. So any any game you play, you're always gonna see that yellow. So you're not gonna like trick your mind that let's say you're playing Adam's Family on Jurassic Park. You can hardly see that. You know, in a, in a darker room, you're just gonna see. That, that display. I'm afraid that that yellow is still gonna kind of show. I don't know how I feel about that. I like the topper. And I like I like the look of it, but I'm surprised. Adam's family is kind of, kind of winning right now for me. Out, and then the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's all the same board. The, the ramp systems are all the, the same. The ramp systems all the same. So pretty cool. 
very similar on, on all of them. Pac-Man Battle Royale, four players. This is cool, the retro cave, look at the turtles. 1942 centipede, Goonies. Deadpool giving everybody a number one right in front of the retro game area. Avatar is back in the tent here. Biggie D told me that if you're gonna play any of them, go in here. So they're a little bit a little bit better than, than the ones out here. But you're gonna run into a little bit longer of a, a wait. And only two compared to you know, probably eight of them over on this side. The music is all video. Oh really? Song, then you can hear it actually. Oh, that's cool. Pinball Expo over here, all from plastic cups. Red Solo cups, but all different color cups. That is pretty cool. Oh, the ice cold beer, look at Matt. He's gotta kneel down to play it. Cleveland all over again. What do, you, what do you get? Yeah, I mean, I got, you know, stuff like this. Magnets. Let's see where are those? Remember you got the X-Men 97 Magneto helmet yeah, last I haven't, year. Yeah, I haven't gotten that, but you know, I flew in this time, so it's you hard to be able to fit all that on the plane. You drove last time. Yeah, yeah, I flew this time. Yeah. Remember, remember Todd got an NFL blitz in his car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Going to be interviewing these guys soon, oh, talking nice. about the pin sim. So, awesome. Arcade's anonymous exclusive right here. Yep, there you go. Oh, check it out. They have an X Men on in the back. That is pretty cool. Here. It's incredible. All these people are in line. Where do they stand? The 
play this Metallica right here. And I forgot about Metallica being here. And then you have some more X-Men off to the side. So yeah, look at this. This is crazy. I think there's only one here. Out of all the pinball machines. Imagine just coming here, waiting in line all day. Come and check this out. This is crazy. room. Call it, call it the danger room. It's awesome. And then a completely gutted fishtails cabinet. Nothing in here. And Sonic 2. Barry Evans over here. We got Tolkien Taverns over here. We just saw him at the Midwest Gaming Classic with the, the Blockbuster video. The sets we picked up this shirt in Milwaukee. Yeah, awesome. Inspired. Nice. Cool. How was uh, how was the homestead with with the with the last couple of storms in Tampa? Uh, we were actually uh, we did okay, but we were right. We just had somebody else come by to the next show too. That's cool. Where are you off to next? Uh, well, I mean, I think we'll probably do Free Play Florida because it's close to home. I mean, this is our last show. For when's when's Free Play Florida? Um, it's in uh, Orlando, like near Orlando. Is it in October? Huh? Uh, no, it's in November. Okay, it's November. like a weekend before Thanksgiving. Yeah, free play. Yeah, that, that's the one that we actually uh, we feature in the movie, so we get okay. close, so we always go there. They are on YouTube, Prime Video, and Tubi. Token Taverns. This is Blockbuster sign. The immortal John Hancock is in Schaumburg. So, so cool. Enjoy the, the show. Right, thank you. All right, take care. I'm sure I'll see you at other shows. Absolutely. In the area. All right. Doctor Doom's Revenge, Spider-Man. Always, always a sucker going up to the Marvel. Just talking to John Hancock, and you know we saw him at the Midwest Gaming Classic in Milwaukee, and he's going to be back there again next year. Looking forward to, to seeing him. He said this was his 10th show. He, just, he said this is it for this year until 2025 rolls around. It's so hard when you're trying to like find a group of people here. There's, there's like probably 15, maybe 20 people I know just kind of in the, in the area and I can't find any of them. It's just like I keep walking. Biggie D and multi cave Matter are really tall so I'm like kind of trying to look above the, the crowd to see if their heads sticking up but yeah I'm just like walking circles as we're checking everything out trying to find anybody. I went and rushed over by X-Men and completely lost the group. A lot of the pinball machines, the older ones, all down this aisle right next to the stern area and then on the other side I remember there being I, I thought there were more last year I remember this back wall and offhand it might have been pushed back a little bit further I remember how tight it was getting through here so maybe they kind of limited how many they were printing just to give people you know room to get by because it was it was tight oh my gosh I was standing at a Best Western in Fort Washington and at the hotel they had this they had this very pinball there I remember playing this all weekend. It's the memories. All weekend playing this, and the, the first time playing Narc at another Best Western in Guapaca. Yeah, but both, uh, both fun experiences, like just memories you, uh, you hold on forever. What is this? Seeing Star Trek Next Generation just makes me think about the uh, at games. Just being able to play that on the 4K. Look at this old Pac Man. This little monitor. But uh, it's a 17 inch, it's 15 inch screen. Look at this Dig Dug, like waist high, cocktail like, but I mean, it's. You're not sitting down. I don't know if this is considered a cocktail. Well, it is. The Atari Dig Dug cocktail running original board set, power supply. It's cool. You got the, the controls on this side. Over here. Yeah, does that feel good? Wow. Of course, I could be thinking of this aisle. I remember it being about this tight, so I guess I guess it wasn't that aisle 
It was this one back by the restrooms. But it just seemed like there was another area where, I mean, there's a lot of pinballs here, but I thought there were just another, like, kind of a pit to go in. And maybe, maybe some of the arcades over here for sale kind of took away from that. Or, like, places like where we saw the Looney Tunes and Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of boosts like that. Look at this Adams family. The topper up there. These are turned off today. Hot five and go. All right, five years, 600. Let's take the bands in here one time. Five years, 600. Let's take the bands in here one time. What do you think we're going to do? It's going to be five years, 600. 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 Five Pretty cool captain's auction at the Pinball Expo, auctioning all of those arcades. So that, that's what they were all doing okay, so in the middle over here. Pinballs. Look at all these. But I can see it's got raster, but that means the game's not moving up. I can see the monitor flickering. Street Fighter 2, Marquee, that is awesome. This is my favorite one, the, the, the world map, the globe.
LED light boxes here. Cup holders, I was gonna say, it looked like ashtrays just for a second, and then have everything here, the, uh, the pin signs, LED light box. Batman and Robin, you got Alicia Silverstone, look at the Green Lantern. Incredible Hulk, Spider-Man, Megatron, Austin Powers, G.I. Joe. Just saw Power Rangers. You know, these sheets look familiar. I wonder if this vendor was at Cleveland. I remember seeing this last September. This is great. Look at Megazord and the, the Green Ranger. They, they let me come back here and check these out. I asked if they were at Cleveland. Yeah, they weren't, but I, I remembered those, those Power Ranger sheets. Look at Kiwi and all the, all the turtles, Shredder, Megazord. Wow. Have some uh, retro gaming here on some CRTs. So, GameCube. All the CRT screens. That's Atari. Track coat with a, a hat. Check out the video game selection center. This old TV. This might have been something like the first TV I had in my bedroom. Little box. All magnets. Look at all these. It's awesome. Superheroes, Paperboy, Superman over here. Uh, I get six dollars for four uh, for twenty. The only person I keep finding is Dirt Lounge Master eighty four. I can't find anybody. You're the only one I keep running into. I'm just saying really? how hard it is to find people at the expo. How are you? How are you, how are you coming out? I'm trying to still not buy things. <laughs> Flippy. Just call me Pinball Man. Greetings from Mount Flipmore. Nice. Pinball X with official 40th anniversary. They only have large left. Okay, we've seen the Hercules pinball machine before. I mean, look at this thing. Unfortunately, it's, it's out of order. For sale, it's $4,500. I don't know how they move this around. It's, it's incredible. Right next to it, though, the mothership. Look at this. Stand back for a second, just to take this in. Literally, the, the, the pinball is probably the size of like a cue ball. Look at this. I mean, you couldn't even play this by yourself. I mean, this has to be 55 inches, maybe 60 inches wide. It's incredible how big this is. I've never seen this. I saw Hercules. But the mothership. I want a Magneto shout out. James Hates Everything has three shirts that he's gonna wrap away. There's signatures from everybody on here, from all, everybody at the Pinball Expo. So he's gonna have this on a, a future stream? Yep. Awesome. Yep, and it just, just be a straight giveaway, awesome. so. So yeah, check out James Hates Everything to, to get a shirt with all the autographs. What did you think of the action? I know last year in Cleveland, like, what do you think of the 4K? Time. Not a whole lot of time. Still kind of like, eh. <laughs> I, I'm not going to rush out and buy a 4K because I have my regular HD and I have a GPC hooked up to it. I'm disappointed that some of them are completely gone. Star Trek's gone yep. and Attack of Heart. Yeah, and then it's a shame. Like, like gone from the show? Them. Yeah, they all that was completely they they around the world. Actually, hot. And I were gonna decide if we we're gonna get one. Where are you feeling today versus last night on the live stream? We're talking like, are we gonna, are we gonna buy it? You know, I actually slept on it last night, and I actually am thinking Mars, Attack from Mars, on this again. Believe it or not. Adam Stanley and Attack from Mars are winning for me right now. Yeah. And I've totally done like a 360. We have until tomorrow night to get on the sale. So yeah. I think we're gonna kind of sleep on it again. Sonic Pinball, guys, what did you think of it? That is amazing. That was one of the best ones here. This is awesome. The Spirit Hunter, just talking about that. That is cool. The whole Sega 
red. Got Arcades Anonymous all over here. We're gonna take a huge group photo. Trying to round everybody up at, at, the, at the Pinball Expo. It's crazy. Peggy. I know these two gentlemen right here. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I was gonna see either one of them. So Phil, you're at the Pinball Expo. What do you think? <laughs> I, I'm liking it. I'm not happy. They're at, well, at games right now. I, I just, not all of them were here. Yeah. And I don't like that they stuck him in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> we have Gary Stern over here in the group. Arcade Brothers. Yeah, Arcade Brothers. Home arcade community. And we all know each other. Okay. Gary Stern, Arcades Anonymous. Pick place at the right time. Another shot from Beacon. We know we know Mr. Fox, and this is the real Mr. Fox. So. No, this is a substitute. Is this, is this who you see when you talk to the Mr. Fox to, while you're doing your walk and talks? I do. I do. To be honest, between us, I do. A little bit of a sidetrack here. We're going from the Pinball Expo to Costco for lunch, so. <laughs> Not we're just for lunch. <laughs> we got to do a walk and talk we're inside of Costco. Let we'll me try fun. this. I've yes. never done and this arcades before. Anonymous. So. Look at this hot mess. We are at the parking lot of Costco. Literally about two minutes away from the, the, the expo. is like right over there. We're getting lunch. Trying to catch up to Biggie. And the other car full of people. Yeah, heading into... Uh, here's everybody. Heading into a busy Costco. Mike B has Zelda. I, I'm getting this when I go home. My wife bought this for me for my birthday. We have, we have Justin console kits. <laughs> Can I have this? <laughs> Cooler actually is good. Because 12 is the first set of digits before you repeat again. 13 would be the one. Does that make sense? It does. And the free play zone. Got all free play. So, so you know, stating before that when I was in the expo and they were missing all these pinballs, they do have this entire room of pinball machines. So I kind of want to go back and kind of correct myself. There's plenty of pinballs here. I wasn't downplaying it, but yeah. Kind of take a walk through here and look at the taxi get away. Man, this is so cool. Look at this entire room. show, most popular show all time, Twister, South Park, oh look at the Superman, bunch of real old ones, back side of the wall, and I thought it was Attack of Mars, Bone Busters, that uh, topper up there. So this is where At Games got there at the topper, so yeah, this is the newer, I, I just wish I could have seen it in person. It's too bad it didn't last. I, I thought there was gonna be displays at that stayed, and then, you know, displays that they sold, but unfortunately the displays that they brought were in fact the ones that people could buy. I thought that was Peter Falk for a second. I thought it was like a Columbo, a Doctor Who. I thought it was a Columbo pinball. Peter. Three Stooges arcade machine. Look at this. It could be Larry Moe, Curly. I did see this at Galloping Ghosts. Walking past earlier, when I first walked in, they had tournament play out here, having these controllers hooked up to the pinball machines. I never saw anything like that before. So all of these cabinets were all in that captain's auction. We took a step out. We left for a little bit. Might have some bonus content in the next video in our walk and talk. But we kind of left when there's the, the captain over here was doing all the auctions and I, I remember them stating blitz and you know, all these all these cabinets like that they have all sold. Like that is crazy a gentleman working on on this cabin now and there's the uh, NFL Blitz. Maybe maybe the two gentlemen that actually purchased this won the bet. I found James. I wanted to say bye to him before what did you find me? Amidar. <laughs> Wanted to say bye to him before I left. The fact that I ran into him again. 
crazy. Like it is just completely filled up. We left a little bit, came back, parked even further back, actually almost downtown Chicago, where, where we ended up walking <laughs> yeah, from. Yeah, indeed. Great seeing James. Until nice next you. time, man. Yeah. Speaking with the gentleman, Captain's Auction, everything has sold. So that's uh, it's pretty cool. So that's my job. Come in here, and I sell. The chaotic Woody Gallagher guy buyer. He bought the peanuts. Really? Yep, he's gonna take it home tonight. That is awesome. Yeah. Where is he? Uh, I think he went to the restroom what, real what, quick. What I talked to his wife. What did going for? Uh, 1849. Uh, she's gonna throw in a couple of pinball packs and pinball nets. There he is, right behind you. Well, congratulations, you bought peanuts. Oh, peanuts bought me. Congratulations. That's how dazzling it is. So yes, I ended up getting that today. Got the SSF kit. Yes, SSF kit. Got the topper on there. Got him a free uh, pinball packs with it too, and it was good. That is awesome. Congratulations. Gallagher guy, look at how proud he is. He got peanuts. Look how proud he is. He got peanuts. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so when do you when do you get to take this? Uh, t tonight at nine o'clock. This is leaving with me. So you gotta. So you gotta. Are you heading back home tonight, or are you gonna go home tomorrow? Um, it was planned to come to go home tonight, but after this, we're gonna go tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so the Saturday discount, here's what it was, here's what Galka guy got it for, 15 games, and the cup holder that they better, uh, they, everything on here is his, like they should, we should let him leave that. that. That's his, right? He gets to take that. <laughs> See? He gets it. I think this is a good finish right here. Big Lebowski, we got, we got Jeff Bridges, Tron, that's going to do it for today. Closing day of Pinball Expo. We got Slingshot, Ooh, Disco, Disco Bowls here. Never, look at that, never seen that. It's like a robot pinball machine. Got everything the, uh, that's left, the remnants of, of a pinball. 40 years. 40 years of Expo fun. I want to thank everybody for watching. I had a great time hanging out with my friends, meeting up with everybody, all the YouTubers, everyone here. A great time. I think it was a little bit better this year than last year. I'm just a little disappointed that game wasn't like in the main hub over here. But you know, for the most part, they're selling some of their, their machines that they brought, and hopefully, I mean, there are they are open till 2 a.m. So you know, maybe. The price comes down a little bit. I guess I could camp out here, wait around a little bit, and maybe get a little bit of a deal on it. But I do have another day to take advantage of the sale. So I'll have to think over. Thanks for being here. We'll see you guys next time. Ball Expo 2024. Forgot to check out the seminars upstairs. Nirvana room A B, Nirvana room C. Head up these stairs. Nirvana room A, the making of John Wick. All the schedule of events started off Tuesday, October fifteenth. Look at. Chicago Gaming and Galloping Ghost Arcade Tour. Going down to Friday the 18th, Saturday today, the 19th. Latest thing, look at this, 2 a.m. The vent hall closes, so that, that's it's gonna be the final hours, the last afternoon, evening, and early mornings until next year, which will be 41 years. Flip out tournament. Stern Pinball Pro Circuit. Official Stern Pro Circuit Tournament. Get connected and play. You can, you can, uh, you can sit at the Royal Throne in here. Until next time, Chicago. Which will be tomorrow. Cap off three days of the Chicagoland with our walk and talk.